this lesson, we're going to learn how to make our own banners. The first thing I recommend is going online and finding other banners that you can get ideas from. So once you find a banner, you can copy it, and we're going to be doing this in Photoshop. I'm going to get a new canvas set up. You can decide what size you want your banner to be. I'm going to go with pixels, and maybe my website's going to be around 1,000 pixels wide. And I'm going to do my banner maybe 200 pixels tall. And you can always decide later if you want your banner to be taller or shorter. So if you decide that this isn't quite the right size, we can always resize it or crop it. So maybe I, I might want a taller banner. So I'm going to go to new and maybe instead of 200, let's go with 350 pixels. A little bit taller. I'm also going to paste in my sample that I was working with that I liked. And I like to have it pasted in here just so I can get an idea of what I'm trying to copy. So I'm going to start at the top. I need some kind of a symbol. So I'm going to use the shape tool over here. Sorry, down here. Grab the rectangle tool. I'm going to make it about that same size. If you want to be able to rotate it, you can just hover over the corner. So I've got my move tool and I can rotate it. If it's not exactly the right size, we can always resize it until we get it the way that we want. I'm just starting by getting things set up where I want them. I can always go back later and edit them and work with them. So the next thing I want to, want to do is put a letter in this shape. I'm going to go ahead and click on the shape. And I'm just going to put a K. I'm going to select that letter. And we can change the color of it up here. You might want to do that before you type it so you can see it. And we need to resize it. So I'm going to grab my Move tool, grab the edge, and resize it where we can actually see it. So right now it's still a black K. Let's change that to white. You can always change the font later. Transform it, add some cool effects by double clicking beside the layer. Over here, double click. You can do drop shadows, some things that might make this letter stand out a little bit more. Grab our move tool and we're going to drag it over top of the shape. I want to change the color of my background. There's many ways to do this. You could paint it in, you could use the paint bucket fill. I'm actually going to go over to the layer, click on backgrounds, go to the bottom. I'm going to click solid color, and I want the color to match what they have here. So I'm just going to take my color dropper, click on that to get that exact color going on in my background. Next thing I want to do is add some more text. Grab the text tool, and I'm going to add that. For right now, I'm just going to grab my eraser, click on the layer that I'm trying to copy. I'm just going to erase her text for right now just so I can get a better idea of what it looks like. Grab my move tool, click back on the layer that has my text and put that where she had it. And I'll keep working with the fonts until I get it looking just the way that I want. I now need a little line so I'm going to go ahead and use my, I can use the line tool or the rectangle tool. I guess I use the line tool. Drag a line across there. I can change the color of it and the styles by clicking here. I can add drop shadows. I can bevel it. I've now added in text because they had a line of text there. I need to get a box in here, so I'm going to do a shape there. I'm going to go ahead and use the shape tool. Draw a box about the size that they have it. I'll then add some text inside of it, maybe say web design. I now need to go and get a picture of the back of my head. So once I get a picture, I need to erase the background. So I'm going to use my quick select tool, drag it down the subject. If it selects too much, you can hold down the alt and deselect the parts that you don't need. You can zoom in if you want to get it really precise. For 
We're then going to mask that, the mask tools over here below your layers. You can smooth, the, smooth it out by going to Properties, Mask, Edge, and Smooth. Grab our Move tool and we're going to move it over to our banner. And then I'm going to try to get it the right size so that I don't distort the image. I'm going to hold down Shift and resize it. I then want to lower the opacity of the image that's over here on the right. And now I can shut the eye on the original banner that I was copying. I can shut the eye so that I can see what my banner looks like. And then from here I can start tweaking, making edits to get it to look just how I want. You know, maybe I want to move this picture up higher. I recommend saving one copy as a PSD and calling it Banner Edit. And I recommend saving one copy as a JPEG and just removing the word edit. So that way you can always go back and make changes to your banner.